Hello and welcome back to another Dream Weaver tutorial. This is video number 11 of the series. We are building a website and we are using Dream Weaver from Adobe. What I'll do pretty soon, I'll change this uh, banner to something more meaningful and I'll actually upload this website to a server so you guys can access it and learn how this website was built at the same time. Now we have learned how to create a table and we have learned how to create these links. We learned how to change these links to library items. So if our website has thousands of pages and we have to change any of these things, we don't have to change it in 1000 pages. We want to go to our library and we want to change it to our top link library item which is this. We also learned how to create a spray menu bar, vertical spray menu bar. We learned how to change the width and height. We learned how to change the hover color. We learned how to create links. We also learned how to change or save this spray menu bar as a library item, which is our site link library item. Now today I want to take some time to go to contact us page, which is contact.html you may have seen on several websites on contact us or contact me page they have a form that asks for name email address and message or comment or whatever you want to call it and then it has a submit button and maybe a reset button and when you type in your details and you press that submit button the information that you typed in goes to the website owner we want to create that contact us form here now Dreamweaver comes with a set of wonderful tools that uh, makes your life extremely easier. You have this form uh, icon here, text field, hidden field, text area, checkbox and a number of other things that we can play with. Now I just want to quickly show if I press this form icon here I have this rectangle dotted rectangle red dotted rectangle which is a form actually okay I can simply and quickly show you what it means I can give it an, an ID name and I can give it a label called name and it will create this small field here I can press enter and I can create a text area I can call it message and I can label it as well message and it creates this message area and I can I can play with it so I can press enter here the message appears at the top left hand okay and I can press enter here you can do a lot of things I can also quickly create a button which is this and I can call it submit I don't want to label it and you have this submit button on your website okay now if I select this Dreamweaver has created an a code for this if I go to code view this is the code that Dreamweaver has created for me now I just want you to take your time to show you what if we were to type that code by ourselves so it's a good tool Dreamweaver is a very good tool to learn HTML as well okay so I'll show you what I mean so I'll delete this uh, form and I think I can go to code view or let me actually create a new HTML document so it, things become easier to understand and if I go to split view or code view you'll notice that Dreamweaver has typed some code already so I'll delete all this code and I will actually go to split mode so this is code view and this is a design area okay now I'll be typing some code here and I want you to pay attention in this uh, design area to see what's happening and it, it, the purpose is to show you it's a powerful tool to learn HTML so open angle bracket input okay so I'll close it and I'll press refresh button here and you'll notice what happens here okay so this is a field the code input 
has created a field on the design view so input on any internet browser will create this this field okay now we want our viewers to be able to know what is this field for for so we can create a label here we can say it's a name it's name and colon and I'll press refresh and you have this uh, text appearing here which is intuitive for the users to assume that this is a name field and they're supposed to type in the name here okay now in order to receive any response from any form you have to type a code so I'll be using a PHP document and uh, this PHP is beyond the scope of today's uh, lesson so I'm, I'm creating form simply form today now when we use PHP code we have to reference this field okay the input field does not have any name or ID so we can say uh, name and you'll notice that Dreamweaver is giving me and I started typing n and it come came up with a number of items okay so I press enter and I can simply call it name all right and you have a field that is known as name and you have some text in front of it that says name so the user knows that um, they have to type in a name okay now the next thing I want to do I want to create uh, I also want to let it know that it is a type text okay now I will type in I'll create a message area and I'll say text area and this is how you create a message area and I will press I'll open angle bracket and I'll press forward slash and it completes the code for me okay if I press refresh here notice what happens here this has created a message area the problem is it's appearing right next to this name field so what we want to do we want to create a gap here line break here so I can simply open uh, angle bracket BR for line break and close and refresh and you'll notice that this message area is appearing below I want to I want this name field to appear below name as well I can simply give a line break here as well okay refresh and you have this name field appearing below the text name and then you have this message area okay we want to make it look good another line break and you have this line break here okay and then you can type in message here so viewer can understand what that field is we also have to name this field so we will call it name and we can say the ID of this field is message now so if we have to reference this field in our PHP document we know the name of this field is message now this looks too small for me so I can say uh, rows is equal to maybe 10 rows and I'll press just make it a bit bigger and refresh oh sorry 10 has to go here within the course and refresh and you have this message area made up of 10 rows I want to increase the number of columns as well I can simply say COLS is equal to sign double quotes double quotes and I can see maybe 40 columns I'll refresh and then I have this message area of 10 rows and 40 columns okay another line break and the cursor is here now and we can say input again and type and this type is submit okay closing uh, 
close angle bracket and refresh and you have this submit button now this was very simple code what i've tried to do uh try to sh show you the simplest and easiest code uh but don't assume that this is it this is not the html it's it's a very broad topic and you can do a lot of things okay now i want to let html know that this is a form so i can type in form here okay and then i can open an angle bracket type slash and it should complete the code for me okay form and if I press refresh, this is form. Okay, refresh, and you have this form appearing in design view. Now we could simply copy this code and go to our contact us page. This is where I want my form to appear and I can go to code view and I can get rid of this paragraph here and I can control V to paste this code that we just uh, made and then I go to design view and you have your contact us uh, form in front of you. So That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.